Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for us.
the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us.
to play, we all have a yes to say. And uh, we celebrate the yes of the Blessed Mother today, which uh, has given to us our life, um, our life here on earth and our life, uh, the possibility of life forever in heaven, all because one woman said yes. And today we celebrate, yeah, we wouldn't have mass without Mary's yes. We wouldn't have the sacraments without Mary's yes. We wouldn't have the church without her yes. Nobody we would ever go to heaven without her having said yes. Her yes had eternal ramifications and many, 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 many millions and billions, an infinite number of implications, her one yes. And so we celebrate that today. She is the mother of God, Theotokos is what we celebrate today because Jesus is God and Mary is the mother of Jesus. Ergo, Mary is the mother of God. Jesus is the second person of the most holy trinity. And so the church in her wisdom uh, discerned many, many years ago uh, that Mary is mother of God. And in fact, even in the earliest Saint Ephraim, who was a, an early church father, talks about Mary as Theotokos. And so this dates us, or the, the feast day that we celebrate today uh, has roots that go back to the very beginning of Christianity. And so it is a happy thing to celebrate our Blessed Mother. I was reading this book here. Uh, it's called Insinu Yezu, When Heart Speaks to Heart. It's the journal of a priest at prayer. And it's an, written by an anonymous priest um, nobody knows who wrote it, um, but he chronicles his holy hours. He, he writes in here about what he hears the Lord tell him in his holy hours and, and uh, with the Blessed Sacrament. And I was just happened to flip it back a few pages here to 12 years ago um, when he, it was January of 2008. It was in the first couple days of January, 2008. And I, it just really got me. Listen to this. This is what, these are the words of our Lord that this priest, this anonymous priest heard in his holy hour as the year 2008 was just beginning. Listen to me, says Jesus. Open to me the ear of your heart and I will speak to you. My heart yearns for yours. I so desire your company. I long for the company of every one. I want you to be for my heart another Saint John, loving me, seeking me, listening to me, abiding in my presence, and that of my mother. Isn't that beautiful? I want you to be for my heart another Saint John. Remember that underneath the cross of our Lord was the woman we celebrate today, the Blessed Mother, and the only apostle that didn't abandon Jesus, Saint John, whose feast day was just a few days ago in the octave, in the, in the octave of Christmas, um, his feast day the 27th of December. Jesus wants us to be another St. John, like in that close of a place uh, to him and to his mother, that as his passion is going on, as, his, as he continues to live his life, that you and I are meant to be like this St. John who is with our Lord, standing right there with him and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, loving him, seeking him, listening to him, and abiding in his presence and that of his mother. And then it goes on. I want you to love my mother as John loved her. In obedience to my word from the cross, behold your mother. All the graces that you have received over the past year, and especially over the past few months, were obtained for you by her intercession and given you by her hands. Isn't that beautiful? That every single gift that we have received, all of the graces that we have received, 
We got through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You remember that the very first miracle that God ever works, that Jesus ever works, that is recorded in the Bible is the wedding feast at Cana, and Mary is right there interceding in that very first miracle. Well, guess what? Mary is interceding in all of the miracles that are happening in our lives every day. There's many millions of these miracles happening all over the place in our life, and if only we have the eyes to see it. Blessed Mother is interceding, and, she, and Jesus wants that we be right there, under his cross, right with him, and beholding his mother, asking her for intercession. Listen to this. Uh, Draw from my body and blood given to you at Holy Mass all the graces of which you stand in need. People receive little from their daily communion at my altars because they expect so little. Ask and you shall receive. Consult the saints. Learn from them what is, is to ask great things of me, to ask boldly, confidently, and joyfully. And it keeps going. Then it says, the Eucharist is transforming for all who receive me with faith and confident devotion. And it, it's gorgeous. And so that's what our Lord is asking us as we look to the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary today, someone who was with our Lord all of the time. And Jesus is inviting us to say, says, everything that you got last year is a, is a gift from me, but a gift from, my blessed, from the Blessed Mother too. And consecrate this next year to her. Because all of the miracles that await us, all of the graces that await us in 2021, she's going to have a hand to play in those. She's going to have a role to play in those. And we ask boldly as we stand in her presence and in the presence of Jesus, especially the Blessed Sacrament. And we, uh, we know that God will take good care of us. So as we look to our New Year's resolutions, it's not too late to make one we can make some holy resolutions that will deepen our life with God and put us in that place of being with Jesus and Mary every day a little stronger than we've been before. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all things and bring them to fulfillment, Grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Mass is being offered for Alice Cazort. We could keep her in our prayers during the Eucharistic prayer especially. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit to pour them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. For the blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The body of Christ. Amen. of Christ, the body 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 of Christ. 
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let us past our lips as food, O Lord. <clears throat> May we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll have a happy new year, and please kneel as we begin adoration.
The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and ever and shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us ask St. Michael to protect us this year. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And finally, let us ask our guardian angels to be ever with us this year. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. That incense doesn't smell so good after a little while. It, begin, it, uh, it starts to smell like. It has to be, I think it has to be. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good. <laughs> 